Hi there, Matt, back again. Right, a um, couple of videos back I uh, showed you the new um, cannons from Perez, the French and the uh, Prussian cannons, and also um, the Command um, Minis in uh, metal as well. So, and I went through an unboxing of uh, all five of those. So, I've done two of the cannons, and I've used one of the command commanders for a command sprue as well for my Prussian army. So, uh, you know, when I was talking about the uh, the cannons and that, I did. There was quite a lot of flash on some of the cannons to the extent that, to be honest, I didn't think it was up to the quality that we normally expect from Perez. I've got to be honest about that. Okay, um, the figures themselves were pretty good. They weren't too bad at all. But a couple of the cannons had some real heavy amounts of flash on them, that they really needed trimming down. Anyway, that said, uh, this is what they look like when they're finished. So, this is a French cannon, as you can see. Okay, let's come down a bit closer so you can see these guys. All right, so the French cannon crew. Um. So, this is the uh, French, okay, first one I've done. So this is the one where they're firing, okay, and this one is the, this guy out of the way, this is the Prussian cannon being fired, okay, so French, and Prussian cannons being fired. Okay, so French crew, Prussian crew, and as you can see with the Prussian gun, you know it's a four pound a Krupp gun uh, with the seats at the front so the uh, the men can sit there when it's being towed in limber. Now one issue I had with this is you can see you might be able to see that slightly bent um, barrel on the gun, which I just could not get that bend out of the end of the gun which is a real shame as the rest of the gun was not too bad but I also found that the uh, the adjusting wheel there which they used to adjust the elevation of the gun that was heavily um, covered in uh, flash and took a lot to get all the uh, all the flash off that okay to a point where I could actually put it on the gun so you know Nine times out of ten, I've got absolutely no issue with Perry whatsoever, okay? They're usually absolutely fantastic. I mean, as you can see, once they're painted and they're uh, they're finished, they're, they're pretty good. They're not too bad at all. They're, they they look, you know, up to the usual standard of uh, Perry miniatures. And, and in fact, the, the figures themselves are pretty good. Like you can see the bend on that barrel there. It's not good. Okay, so... That's what the first of the Prussian guns looks like, and the the Krupp four pounder, and the French gun as well. And in some ways, I'm quite, I think I prefer the French gun. <laughs> um, as you know, the French gun is obviously looks a bit more old fashioned, um, you know, and it was the uh, Prussian artillery that kind of won out at the end. Really, they had a much more modern precision artillery, and you can tell, you know, from the shape of the the Prussian gun. You know, we're entering a new age, really, aren't we? Um, where artillery is becoming a lot more modern looking um, the firepower is a lot more accurate um, but they don't look as nice do they I would say you know the Prussian gun well, especially with the seats on looks a bit odd but then again you know we're going down the route of practicality now rather than uh, everybody looking nice and uh, colourful as we did in the Napoleonic Wars okay so I like the uh, the guy with the uh, Hands his hands over his ears <laughs> as the gun's being fired, and the other guy just doesn't give a toss, does he? He's you know bravely staring out at the uh, Prussian lines. Okay, and here we've got Commander, guy with a shell in the background, and a very similar kind of guy staring out over the lines. Okay, so that's what these guns look like when they're finished, or at least the first two. I've still got to do. The other two, both of them are basically the crews are sponging the guns. In addition to that, let's move these back slightly. I've also used one of the um, commanders from the command sprue for my first 
brigade commander. So this is going to be my first brigade commander. And he is going to be, just look his name up. He is going to be Major General Von der Osten. Major General Von der Osten. So he's the first brigade commander that I've done so far. I've got command for the different regiments within the brigade but he's the overall brigade commander and then in addition to that I'm going to use the mounted command from Perez for the overall army general, the army commander um, and that is going to be um, Lieutenant General Von Glumer okay? and he is the basically the divisional commander so it's a division divided into at least two or three brigades and those brigades each have regiments and those regiments are going to represent be represented by a standard or a large unit within the brigade okay so i thought he was quite a nice figure so i wanted him to do him first like the way he looks i'm giving him a bugler so he is a peri figure he's a metal peri figure and the bugler is a figure from eagles of empire Okay, so the bugler on the right is from Eagles of Empire. And you can see they go together really, really well, don't they? They fit really nicely. And he was quite—he was a much more animated bugler than the plastic ones from Perry. I'm not saying the plastic ones from Perry were bad; they're really nice. But I just felt he kind of looked like, you know, he's kind of lurching forward, isn't he, about to bugle? Now, I'm not sure, or to be honest, that a brigade commander like um van der Osten, Major General van der Osten would be actually part of the uh get into the fighting but I've just you know thought well maybe he's in there, maybe he's at the back, he just whips his pistol out to take down a Frenchman. Okay, and his bugler's kind of like just watching the action. So there's quite a lot of, you know, quite a lot going on there. Now the base, I've just started the base really, I've just based it, but I need a bit more stuff around it. I might even add someone else at the back. I might put a, another guy on there just so it's a bit more substantial. It stands out a bit on the battlefield. But I like what I've done so far. Okay. In addition to that, I have improved the flags that I've done so far. So apparently each regiment had three flags. Okay. Each regiment had three flags, and uh, I've decided that within the brigade there's going to be at least three regiments, okay, um, two uh, fusilier regiments and one grenadier regiment, and I'm going to give them a flag each. So I've kind of made that decision, <laughs> okay. So we've got three flags. Now you'll see at the front they've got they're quite nice because they've got these um, finials with streamers as well at the front as well finials with streamers and they look really nice don't they i i've never i didn't realize that that's that's the way the flags looked but you know that that's that's i think they're white and black that's why i've decided to do them pretty sure they're white and black um but they go with the the flag with that one i just used a um a wire pike so i couldn't really put a finial on that and i didn't have another finial to be honest i'd only got two finials with the box set from perry's so if I want some more finials, I'm going to have to buy some more figures. Okay, So I'm going to basically put one flag with each unit, each large unit, which will be a regiment. And these guys will go in the centre. Because from all of the paintings and the pictures and the photographs that I've seen, the flags did go into battle with the, with the regiment. Okay, And apparently at the end of the war... Most of them were in tatters. They were in ribbons. Yeah, they covered them in oil skins, and they were carried by the flag, the banner, the banner hot carrier, and they were covered in oil skins, and then they were removed from the oil skin when they went into battle, and then they were placed back in the oil skin at the end of the battle. But they were definitely part of the battle. It wasn't like some um, in some battles in earlier periods where basically the, the standards went to the back, so that they couldn't be taken. Okay, these were these were a big deal. Okay. Um, and so that is pretty much it. So three standard, three flag bearers, um, a cannon for the French and a cannon for the Prussians. And my first oh, brigade, oops, knocking them all over. My first brigade.
command base okay so probably two more brigade command well at least one more brigade command base to do I'm not sure how many brigades I'm going to have in this army <laughs> so far I've got you know I've got a lot of figures to paint if I want to do brigades just a quick mention about the flags um, a slight variation in the flags okay the green ones I think were according to the information um, 1967 okay the green ones in 1967 and um, were issued uh, as, uh, as war broke out before 1970 and the white one the one with the white uh, leaves is 19, 1828 so 1828 and 19, 1867 sorry okay and by the by the time of the war the 1828 um, flags had all but disappeared because they'd been destroyed in earlier battles and they had to issue new ones but I've kind of mixed it up a bit and what I think I'm going to do is I will um, give the uh, the grenadiers and the guard which is these guys the white one and the uh, the fusiliers the green one just to give a bit of definition between the different um, infantry units okay so that's where I am so far so making a bit more progress now next time I'm going to talk about the French because put a French gun together and I've got another French gun to do and I've also got um, about 32 French soldiers to paint up as well I've done about 16 so far so I'm actually building a French army as well because to be honest I have no idea who I'm going to play this army against. And so I'm going to probably need to create the French as well, just so I can get an opponent. But anyway, that's my uh, video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the look of these. And if you are considering buying the uh, the Perry artillery, I would I would still buy it, okay? I'm not going to go down on the Perrys. I'm not going to you know give them a downer, you know. But please be aware there will be quite a bit of flash on the guns. And um, you're going to need a bit of a clean-up job on those in order to complete them and I've got to say compared I've done a lot a lot of ECW cannon as you might have seen earlier and a lot of ECW figures from Perry's and they are much superior to these okay so I'm not sure what's quite gone quite quite wrong with uh, with these cannon maybe something to do they're a lot lighter and smaller than English Civil War cannons so it could be that because of the scale and the size it must might be a bit more difficult to do better casting with um, a smaller gun that's the only thing I can think of. I don't know anything about metal casting but that's the only reason I can think that they're not quite the quality that they normally are okay but they still look good when they're finished don't they well, at least I hope they do okay guys so thanks for watching take care see you soon bye